Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kits design team layout. Now for this layout, I really wanted to document this super cute picture of my son when he got his swimming certificate, he moved up a level and he's only just started swimming lessons so he's feeling very, very proud. And I thought I would try and document this swimming certificate with the certificate actually attached because so often we get these certificates and get these memorabilia and then what do we do with them? I have seen those super cute um, like uh, almost like clip on folders that can go in the front or the back of your album and you can add the memorabilia and things a bits and bobs into that which I love but I thought this way I only have one photo anyway um, is a really good way to remember this moment and to keep that certificate in a safe place. So I am creating this layout and including this big memorabilia, big certificate onto straight onto the page. Now, being a A4 piece of card, basically, that, um, that certificate, it does take up quite a large chunk of my workable space. So I'm really only creating a teeny weeny little mini mini layout that's about six inches by four, five, four and a half. Um, so it's really just a little mini spot for me to create my layout. Now, I don't want the photo to look um, like separate from the certificate. I do want them to m sort of flow in together. So of course, I am overlapping the photograph and the ephemera with the certificate, but I certainly don't want to cover any of the important bits of either. So I've put my photo on, I'm layering it up with a whole bunch of the ephemera pieces that came in the kit and just using some of those gorgeous rose gold bits as well, um, layering in tags, layering in all sorts of bits and pieces, um, popping them up on dimension. If you haven't seen me doing this before, I'm out of foam dots. So I'm actually using some thickers that have run out of um, letters to pop up my bits and pieces. I am using the foam ones, not the chipboard ones at this stage, but I'll probably resort to using some chipboard ones down the track until I get some more foam stickers or pop dots. <clears throat> I thought I'd add some of the super cute round trip enamel dots and I decided to go with these little black arrows because I really liked them and I thought they worked really well on this page. So I'm popping on two of those. I was going to use the sort of greeny colored um, stars, but decided that they meld, they, they were too similar in color with the background page and they just wouldn't pop out enough for my liking. So three little clusters of two of those little arrows and I think that's perfect. Popping on some black splatters and then I decided I was going to pop off off screen and get my copper splatters as well because I'm not a massive fan of mixed metals. I don't hate it in any sense of the word, but I do love my things to be cohesive and to match. So I'm gonna go ahead and splot on some copper. Usually I get out a paintbrush and use that instead of the eyedropper, but I was being lazy. So here is my finished product. I'm really happy with the way this came together. Uh, it was so quick and easy, obviously working with such a small space, but I think it looks really cute and it is such a fun way to get those certificates onto a page. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you all next week. Bye.